sign up to EdShed and take out a subscription if you're completely new to us. So first of all, go to edshed.com and create an account. I'm just going to do one for myself. Now with a username, it will go red until your username is unique within the whole of EdShed. And then it will go green, your email. password of some kind and then this is where if you've been given a school joining code if your school already has a subscription you would put that in there but if you're just setting up a brand new subscription you just leave that and then click register then you'll have this screen come up here what you're going to then have is a code sent to your email in order to verify your account. So I'm going to go and find that now, which is here. Click verify. Okay, then you will be taken to this page. Now again, if you have a school joining code, and that's only if your school already has a subscription, that would go here. Other than that, you'll need to choose your account type. So it depends what you need, but um, we've obviously got parent, teacher is just for an individual teacher, business, school, which is what most people have if you're setting up a whole school one, or a group. And a group is a district, maybe you've got a few schools in an academy trust, and that's what you would choose for that. I'm going to click school because that's the most popular one, just to show you what it would be like. And then you would need to add your school name and the address. I'll just put, and obviously it comes up as well with some other schools there. I'm just going to make up a random address. Okay, then next, billing address, I'll just put copy. This will be the main email that the invoice will go to. So if you want to change that, you can do that there. And then you're taken to the subscription page. Now, first of all, you can see this trial here. If you want to get any 30 day free trials for these two, if you, you're not interested in a trial and you just want to make a subscription, click hide or scroll down, click hide. And then you would either choose Literacy Shed here, and Literacy Shed is done per class. So you would then, in that box, write how many classes are in your school. If you want Maths or Spelling Shed or both, you must click on this window here. Then you can either take out a single, maybe just want spelling for your school, or just want maths, or both. You can then click on that and either drag the bar for the amount of pupils or type here, then click choose, and then you can add a purchase order number if you want, uh, accept the terms and conditions, and then you can click pay by invoice. Right, now you've taken that out, you'll then need to add your pupils if you haven't already. Once your pupils are added, you will then need to assign licenses. There's a separate video for how to add pupils as well as how to assign licenses.